Yo, right, guys, this is Game Boy Luke here, your coach for the Bristol City Blazerkins, and today we have another UCL battle for you guys. I know we didn't have one last week because of the, the problems we did have with Leo, but this week we are facing against Nappy and the Tucson Terrakions, and boy, am I scared. <laughs> I missed out last week, so I'm super, super nervous because I haven't actually had, you know, haven't battled in a couple of weeks, so I feel super, super rusty. I know it's only one week, but, you know, I, I, I'm just... I'm just so scared right now. I want you guys to know I'm super, super scared. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. If you guys are excited for this battle and you are rooting for the uh, Bristol City Blazekins, go ahead and click that like button down below. It's greatly appreciated. I do appreciate the support I get with the UCL battles. And I do want to say now, I feel like I didn't prepare enough for this battle. I'm going to say it now. I don't think I did. Um, Nappy and I were spoke, well, spoke, spoke before the battle started and he thinks... I've got a pretty good chance. I don't know. I maybe I lack self-confidence in my battle battling skill, but I'm super scared. I <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> but um, I did bring uh, an okay team. I felt like I could have maybe spent a bit more time on it, but I, you know, I'm gonna run with this and we're gonna see how it goes. I have had, you know, the pleasure of seeing Nappy battle. Um, whilst I was staying at his place, he battled a couple people and I was in the background of the video, which is actually kind of useful because now, obviously, I can kind of, you know, I, know, I know kind of the gist of what his team is going to be using, but he's bringing Roll Some Heat, can't bring Rome against me, man, it's not fair, Weezing, Gastrodon, Gardevoir, the Crook, and the Lucario. Now, the team I have right here isn't exactly fresh in my mind. But I am bringing, um, I am bringing Aladdin, uh, Brofist, Bud, Let It Rip, Real Still, and You Got Mail. I haven't really brought, brought Dragonite to a team, or to a battle in a while, so it's kind of nice to see him on the team. Um, although most of the Pokemon I brought, I think, I definitely thought of the Pokemon that he's brought with him today. Uh, he normally, either, I feel he's going to lead off with his Crook, or he's going to lead off with the Heat, um, or potentially even lead off with the Gastro. Now, considering all those, uh, I kind of want to just bring Bud. Straight away, I kind of want to just leap with this thing, but Lee Gardevoir could totally be a thing as well, and that would screw me up. So maybe I should just leave with Real Steel. I'm just gonna leave with Real Steel. If he wants to throw a Fire type attack at me, um, I'm just gonna have to switch into You Got Mail or something. He might even Willow with me, in which case I can switch to Bud. Um, which I think I should be okay. And I'm just gonna roll with this, and I'm just gonna see what happens. I do have a picture of his team over here. Now I need to write down stuff like. What his Pokemon are going to be running, because I feel like the Crook probably Scarfed. I don't see Nappy run this thing other than Scarf. Obviously, Gardevoir is going to be the Mega. I'm just, I'm just trying to get ready to write down stuff, because I never write down stuff. Like, I'll stop, I'll start when I, you know, I'll start writing down stuff in, like, in the battle, or before the battle starts, and then forget to continue. But he is going to lead off with Blue Note, which is his Lucario. Now... I know Lucario is uh, can be run as a special attacker. And I'm scared. Is Nappy smart enough to run... Is Nappy smart enough to run HP Fire on a Lucario? That's the thing. Is... Oh, nappy, 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 Nappy. If he was to run Hidden Power Fire right now, it's, it's almost gonna kill. Um... I kind of want to stay in though, regardless, and just go for a knockoff, because if he wants to switch out, or even just go for a U-turn. Um, I don't know, if is he going to run the HP fire? You know what? I'm going to go with my gut, because every time I do this, I'm always like, you know what? I don't go with my gut. I never go with my first prediction, and I have a funny feeling he's bringing uh, HP fire on this thing. I don't know why. I don't know why. Call it a hunch, um, and considering the last battle we have against, we hit, it was it was against Joey. I think it was against Joey, and I, I predicted Joey's like moves from like turn one to turn fifteen, and I didn't, you know, I didn't um, prioritize or I didn't. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I didn't act off those predictions, and I regret that so much. So I'm gonna sit here, and I'm gonna tell myself I need to switch out because I feel like Nappy is running the. HP Fire, and if he is, and I switch out into Hitmontop, which has got some pretty good special defense anyways, I can, you know, go in in an Earthquake or Close Combat or whatever. Or, better yet, you know, I have, if he is, if he's a physical attacker, I can switch into yeah, Hitmontop and I get the Intimidate off. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch into him now. Because I am scared. Please tell me he has Hidden Power Fire. He has Sword Stance, so he's gonna use Sword Stance right off the bat. 
So we know he's a physical attacker, so... so we have this guy. He's SD'd up right now. Now, I can fake this thing out, which I might just do. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna fake him out. Because if he has Sash, then I can break the Sash, right? And then I can Earthquake afterwards, because I, I, I I'm physically defensive hit top. I can take a hit from this thing. Uh, if he goes into, I mean, he, he can probably go into Weezing here. He's got a whole bunch of Pokemon that can will o -wisp me. Two Pokemon, potentially, that can will o -wisp me. Which does worry me, because I do have a couple of physical attacks on my team, such as Sword, I have Scizor, I have Dragonite, and I have Hitmontop, but at least I know that Lucario is physical and it has Sword Stance. It's definitely a good thing, and he's probably got close combat as well, so I'm going to jot that down as well. Maybe EQ and Ice Punch, because Ice Punch gets a lot of type coverage on the team. Um, I could have gone for a knockoff here, but other than that, I mean, I could have gone for Super, I could have bought the Super and just got BAM! Pow! Right in the kisser. But I didn't. Because <laughs> didn't think of that. But um, I'm going to bring the Hitmontop out. And I'm going to go for a fake out. Because I don't know if Nappy runs his Lucario Sash or if he runs it Life Orb. But if I fake out anyways, it's a win-win situation. Because if he does switch out to something else, you know, I'm going to get a fake out off. Um, now, the thing is, Crook might actually not be Choice Scarfed. Because it might be a defensive one. It might, have, it might be the Int Impish Intimidate set. Which I know is very famous and very common as well. So if he does bring that... I'm gonna have to be super careful. Super careful. But as you, everyone knows, Nappy likes to sit here and ponder about his thoughts, which is a good thing. He's gonna switch out here. He's gonna switch out here, and he's gonna go into James, which I thought he was gonna do. But it was just safer of me to sit here and fake out. And uh, let's see if he got Black Sludge. He's got Black Sludge. Okay, so he has Black Sludge. Uh, and this, at this point, he's probably just gonna Willow with me. Probably just gonna will o me, so I think the safest play for me to make is to go into my Rosa Raid right here, because um, I do carry the extra sensory. I'm not sure how much an extra sensory will do to James, but we can definitely do something to it, because I know this thing isn't incredibly specially defensive, so why don't we actually calc that right now? Let's calc that right now, bud. With a, okay, so wheezing. Usually physically defensive. Flamethrower is gonna do like 26% to me. So have at me. An extra sensory is gonna do, oh my God, there's like 74% minimum. So if I can get extra sensory off, that'd be great. Uh, he could possibly go, I mean, would he predict the extra, um, he could possibly predict the extra sensory. I kind of wish, actually. This is purely just because I'm because speculation, but I think a technician boosted hidden power would have done some crazy damage. Oh, and I would have killed. So it's fine. I didn't see why he did that. I think he went for Willowis and I avoided, which is not a problem because I have natural cure anyway. So uh, I don't see the issue. But I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna go for an extra sensory. <laughs> see how much damage we could do with an extra sensory. Uh, I have a funny feeling he might switch out into the Crook, predicting that, which is fine, because if he does, I can go for a Leaf Storm and kill it. Boom, dead. So, let's have a look. Uh, let me just... Crook Odile. Crook Odile. To a Leaf a leaf Storm to the Crook Odile is gonna do... A, a, yo, that's insane. What about Giga Drain? Oh, never mind. Giga Drain kills. I don't even have to go for the Leaf Storm. Yo, why is Rosa Raid? I don't understand why Rosa Raid is so strong. It's got so much special tag. And in times like this, where I feel like Nappy has to switch out, otherwise he's gonna get blown back, he I, I can get a free hit on something. And on honesty, I, I can I can hit pretty much everything on this team with, with some kind of power right here. Extra sensory, boom. Catch this. I don't know if he went did, actually, I don't know if he went fire blast right there. He could have, but it wouldn't have done much damage. I don't know. I don't know. Did he go for Willow? I should probably <laughs> I should probably pay attention. He switches out, so he knows I'm gonna go for this. And he's going into his 30 minutes. He's going into roll time real quick. I'm gonna throw this extra sensor at your face. Hold this for me. That does some nice damage. That does some nice damage. So if he's um this is Rotom Rotom H. And it's probably Choice Scarf or something, right? Oh he doesn't kill. Uh, and Leaf Storm doesn't kill, so I can't stay in. There's no point in me staying in. That's that's the biggest risk ever. Um, but at the same time, if I was to switch into someone, he can freely will o -wisp my team. I can't really switch out because if he gets a will o -wisp, um, that's gonna be a pain. 
That's gonna be a pain. If I go into Azelf though. If I go into Azelf. Oh my god, overheat. Oh my Jesus Christ. Overheat does insane damage. If I go for a psychic. That kills. We can kill with it. If he's not Scarf and he's Specs, that's also gonna hurt. That's a tough situation. I'll speed it if it's... No, I don't. I'm modest. Fuck. I'm gonna go into Aladdin. Am I gonna go into Aladdin? Or should I go into Aladdin? Oh my god. I'm gonna go into Aladdin. I feel like he's Choice Specs. Goes to overheat. Okay, so he didn't actually go for the Willow, which is fine. I'm gonna catch a, an overheat real quick. Yummy! Now this is where we this is where we find out. This is where we find out whether it's Scarf or it is X. Right here, I can Psychic and I can kill it. But at the same time, he's he could switch out right here. I don't want to go for a Psychic and then switch into Crook and I'd be f fudged. Um, at the same time, go for knockoff. And if I knock off, I need Stealth Rock, really. Stealth Rock actually only really damages the heat, and it's. At, um, I wanna knock off. I'm gonna knock off. Is he Scarf or is he. He is Scarfed! Okay, so him being Scarfed right here means that we can do something. We can get a free dragon dance up with you got mail, and we can begin to sweep right here. He's faster than me, so he must be scarfed. He's choiced into his overheat right here. So right now, you know, I can just go boop. So being able to go for D dance right now uh, depends whether the crook is intimidate or if it's moxie. Because if I'm at plus one, I'm going to be able to do some nice damage with Dragonite. Because what would that do to a Crook? What would a plus one Iron Head do to a Crook? So I don't want to go for Outrage, because uh, he has Gardevoir. But an Iron Head, yo, it doesn't do any damage at all. Outrage does... Outrage doesn't even kill. That's absolutely insane. Crook is a monster. Crook is... Oh wait, the Intimidate's on there. Okay, so he do... if he doesn't have Intimidate, that's more like it. Outrage does kill. Outrage does kill if he doesn't have Intimidate. I mean, it's pretty obvious I'm gonna go for this right now. If he goes into Gardevoir, an Iron Head will finish this thing. Yeah, Iron Head is... Pfft. Yo, they have the same speed. That's pretty crazy. But if I'm plus one speed... Uh, I'm plus one speed, that's gonna... Yeah, surely that, yeah, that'll put me above... Okay, so who's he going into? Cindy. Okay, so he's gonna go into this thing. I think, uh, I think Cindy has Ice Beam. So if we go into... If Gastrodon... Plus one outrage does a mad amount of damage. Ooh, I wanna I'm gonna do it. Ice beam is gonna do. How much does ice beam do? Ice beam is gonna do that. I'm gonna fucking do it. YOLO. If he scolds me and he burns me, I'll be super upset. I will be so upset. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Outrage because I can hit everything on his team super hard. Like really, really badly. I could I, I could have opted actually to go for another Dragon Dance. But there's also the risk that I don't kill the Gastrodon. Because the minimum damage is 94.3. So I I kind of am glad that I went for the Outrage instead of D-Dancing again. Um, if he wants to switch into Gardevoir, 
I, I won't kill Cindy on this turn. I won't kill Cindy on this turn. And if you switch into Gardevoir now, then I can switch out anyways, because it doesn't lock you in if it doesn't affect, I think. So if I outrage him here, I'm just going to do some nice ass- Oh, no, he has the Rocky Helmet. I forgot. Ice Beam will kill. Ice Beam will kill now without the multi-scale. Oh, that's not funny. That's not fair. He froze me. Are you serious? I can't move. I can't do anything. <laughs> I can't believe I just... It froze me. Oh, wow. Oh, that's not. Oh, come on, man. He's absolutely free to do that, you know? <laughs> I can't. Oh, wow. Because I was frozen, I have the chance. I have the chance to switch out right here. In that case, I'm going to save Dragonite. I'm gonna save Dragonite because I might be able to thaw him out later. Maybe, probably not. Let's go in a bud as it uses recover. Okay, so right now, um, I think the best option for him is to switch into maybe Weezing or something. Like if I was to send, if I have, um, actually to be honest, to do nothing on his team. Uh, I should go for Giga Drain. I should go for Giga Drain. How much is, uh, is it gonna do to a wheezing? How much would a Giga Drain do to a wheezing? I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna do types, that's cool. Um, okay, so what we do to the Rotom Heat? What would it do to Rotom Heat? It's 30%, and then I might be able to survive. Yeah, I can survive an overheat. So, I think Giga Drain's the best option. I'm just gonna go for it. As he goes into 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Over for the Giga Drain. Now he's gonna he's got choice he's, he's choice scarfed and he's got overheat. Now I can survive those hits. I know I can survive those hits, but the, the problem is, is it's gonna put me. You know what I could do? What if I did this? What if I switch into uh, to Dragonite right here? Because he's frozen anyways. If he kills me, I can switch. Then bring I can bring Rosary back in after he's at minus two, and a minus two, a minus two, Rotom Heat is doing no more than fifty percent to Rosary. So. We do have the opportunity to do something crazy right here. If I can, if if, if Dragonite survives, then it's 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 you know it's it's unfrozen, it's it's thawed out, which is great, which is awesome, perfect, boom. But I can't do anything because I don't have extreme speed. And I do switch out. Come into you got mail. He goes to overheat and he lands it. Can I survive it? I don't think I can. It'd be funny if I could. No. <laughs> if I could have survived that, I would have been great. I would have been. I would have been singing. I would have been singing. So let's go into. Um, what do I need to go into? I don't really need to go into Rosary because after that, they'll just bring out some stupid shit and I'll be fucked. So let me see what Ambipom can do. Ambipom. So fake out is gonna a fake out will take down yeah we'll easily take down this thing no problem. Um, mega sizzle minus two overheat still kills me. Oopsie, bullet punch won't kill this thing. I mean I have the option either to go to Roserade, extra sensory and take some damage, but then he's got, all he'll do is just bring in. Gun. 
So I think the best play would be to bring out Ambipom because I can actually do something with it. You know, I can actually knock this thing off and go ahead and fuck some things in, you know? Choice Specs though, uh, Choice Scarf, sorry, that's gonna screw me up, so I kind of need to fake out. Because an over, you know, a minus two overheat still kills this thing, so I do need to go for fake out. Oh no, wait, hold on. My, it does 50%, dude. I'm gonna knock off, I need to... Yeah, I had a funny feeling he'd switch out. I'm gonna go, I wanted to go my gut feeling right there. Gonna go for the knockoff, and I'm gonna be able to take the item away from your boy, Blue Note. Like that. What is he holding? Life Orb, okay. This thing can either bullet punch or vacuum wave, so I am gonna go into let it rip right here. It's the only option I have. I can't, I can't stay in, because if he has vacuum wave, which I know he's, he's already a physical attacker, but still a bullet punch is gonna do uh, some stupid damage to me. I kind of wish I got Stealth Rocks up because the Rotom Heat wouldn't be able to keep coming in and out and in and out. But um, as long as I have Abby for my guess, I can, you know, if I can fake out, I can get a guaranteed kill on him. It is a shame that Dragonite got frozen though because I could have I could have outraged the Gastrodon and killed that thing. Or if he wanted to bring in the God of War, I could have then switched out and still had Dragonite at like 90% HP. So the freeze definitely mattered. Freeze definitely mattered because now he has a full HP Gastrodon that's, you know... I could have potentially had at 20%, whatever it was, which is a shame, which is a real shame, but blue note right here, either he's going to SD, either he's going to SD, or he's going to go for a priority move. Boy, him on top. So he predicts that. That's a good prediction. That was obvious, to be fair. And he comes into James, which is his reason. And you know, this is an obvious prediction. I can go into Bud here. I, I can't stay in because he'll Will O Wisp. And with Natural Cure, you know, it's pretty obvious. It's the pretty much the only option I can go for right here. Um, him switching out, he could switch out into something. What do you switch out into to take a extra sensory? I mean, he can flamethrower me, it's gonna do like 20%. Hey yo, what's good though? Will O Wisp. And he lands it. Which is fine. I'm not bothered. Um, I think he's gonna go into Crook. He's gonna go into Crook predicting it. I'm gonna go for Giga Drain. He's not going to stay in. Go for the gut feeling right here. Gut feeling. He's going to switch out into something, so I'd rather get a stab attack off on whatever comes in. You know, I'm wondering why I ran Shadow Ball on this thing now. I don't know why. I could I should I should have run Sludge Bomb. I don't know. I don't remember what his draft looked like. I should have run Sludge Bomb though. I don't know why. Why did I put Shadow Ball? I'm so stupid. I should put I should have put Sludge Bomb on it. Shit. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that, but. Uh, I don't know. Please switch out into the Gastrodon. Please switch out into God of War. No, actually, you know, if he switches into Crook right here, I have a funny feeling maybe he thinks I'm, I'm Specs. Oh, he's staying in. No, he's, yes. Yes, come on. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. The reeds, mad reeds. Ah, oh, the gut feeling was right. I'm so glad I went with that. That's a mad prediction. Absolutely crazy. Oh my god. 
Yo, that's insane. Okay, so he's free to go ahead and overheat me. I can't switch out into anything, so I basically have to stay in. But at the same time, a an overheat to my Roserade is gonna do 85%, so I'm gonna die. And then after that, I have nothing to take care of Gastrodon. So I kind of need to sack someone. You know what, I'm gonna have to get rid of... Then I have nothing for Blue Note. Oh my god, this is a tricky decision. Or a tricky place to be, actually. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to go into, I'm gonna have to go into Hitmontop, I have to. I can't get rid of Roserade yet. And because I got my HP back, Rose, um, uh, Roserade's pretty much at full. I don't know how much a choice specs, uh, choice scarf overheat's gonna do. Ouch. Okay, so right here I can fake out. I can pretty much fake out. So I'm gonna go for that now. Chip damage is everything, and I can get some more lefties health. I have four Pokemon. I need to. Oh, I need to be careful what I do. I need to be careful. I need to think about. I need to be careful about the decisions I make. You know, um, Lucario probably isn't going to be all that useful right now. The only thing I really need it for is the is the Gardevoir. If I can pull this one out now, I'd be insane. I need it for Gardevoir because Bullet Punch will finish that thing off. You know, if I can get an SD up, I can Bullet Punch away on pretty much this whole team. Gastrodon actually is going to eat hits. Gastrodon. If it's physically defensive, a Mega Scizor Bullet Punch is doing nothing. A knockoff is doing 30%, and U turn is doing up 35%. If I can get a Sword Stance up, that turns to 70%, and knockoff turns to 65%. So I guess I kind of need the SD. Even the SD, as the Sword Stance, I can't do anything to this Gastrodon, so. And it's like, and then knock. If I can do a like knock off U-turn, or just knock off and then knock off again without an item, it does 43. So that I mean that, that balances out actually. If I knock off twice, I can kill it, but that gives him the chance to scold me, and that might burn. And you already know what happens with my luck, especially after being froze today and a one in ten chance. Um, it's insane. Um, but he's gonna withdraw. And he'll probably go into wheezing. She's doing sense not to. Well, it wouldn't make sense not to. I'm gonna get some fake out damage. That's some extra, extra, extra hit points for him on top right here, which might come in handy later on. <sighs> right now, uh, you know, the will is obvious. So I should probably just go into Rosa Raid again. Uh, and if he wants to flamethrower me, that's fine, because, you know, I'm, I've got to have my assault vest, and Weezing's, it's not stab. Weezing's no choice specs, special attack, a crazy thing, so Weezing... Flamethrower is going to do 26%. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Unless he reads me here and he goes into Road Some Heat. You know, that's going to be some sneaky shit, actually. Thinking about it, that is some sneaky shit. Because I literally can't do anything else. You know, it's a flamethrower. I'm going to eat that. Yummy! Okay, so, right now, now I'm free to extra sensory. I'm free to do it. I can just hit whatever he wants to send out. So, come at me. It hits everything for neutral damage, apart from the Gardevoir. So, come at me full force, B. And I can at least get some damage on the Gardevoir before it Mega Evolves as well. I could have gone for Shadow Ball. But, uh, let us see, he has flamethrower, we seem to obviously have flamethrower. Um, extra sensory will do good damage to a lot of his Pokemon, extra. It will kill the Rotom Heat. Uh, Lucario, oh he's staying in, that's not gonna kill. Flinch. Okay, it's so in flamethrower me again. I'm gonna eat that up, thank you. How much would a Giga Drain do to a Weezing? I want some of my HP back. 
All my HP back, give it back. You owe me HP. Give me my HP back. I need it now. T-Y. Thank you. Oh, that's a crit. Didn't matter. Give me the HP. That's 18 points. That's not a lot. I want you to know that's not a lot of HP, but with wheezing out the way, that's kind, you know, that's good. That's that's real good because what's he gonna do now? He might bring out the blue note. Is he gonna bring out a blue note? No, he's gonna bring out this guy, okay. This is gonna, he's going to overheat me all the way to the next dimension. I don't need let it rip anymore. I don't really need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. So he, he's free to go for a Willow. No, Willow and Overheat here. I'd be amazing if I could survive it or if he missed it, because Overheat does have a 90% chance. And he's gonna land it, it's fine. Can I survive? Let it rip, can you do this? Can you do this? Hell no you can't. Okay, so he's got this thing now at minus two, right? I can go into Bro Fist. And either I knock off or I can U-turn. Actually, I need to fake out. 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 Or I can go into Bud now, take an overheat and kill this thing. Because Rosa Raid, I mean, let me have a look. Rotom Heat, Choice Scarf. At minus two special attack. Oh, I might die. I can't risk that. I might die. <laughs> I can't risk that. I might die. <laughs> Let me come in. Let me fake you out real quick. Let me fake you out, because that's going to do nice damage to anybody, to be fair. It's 43% worth of bada boom to anybody. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to fake out. Um, Gastrodon is a problem, that being that much HP, it's such an issue. With my with my AV though, to be fair, I should be okay. Um, if I if I get Gastrodon out. Oh god, no wait, Earthquake will kill. Actually, I forgot it got Earthquake. Earthquake will destroy Roserade. So I have to be careful with that. Ambipom might be a win condition, I do need to keep hold of him. I go to Brofist and I go to Lucario. Um, a fake out from me is going to do 27%, which isn't great. It's not amazing, but it's not bad either. And a double hit will do 48.3. And considering his HP right now, I actually think I might be able to KO with that. Extreme speed is going to do 63.5%. And if he sword stances. Can I learn Fire Punch? Can Lucario learn Fire Punch? I don't think he can. I don't think it. I don't know. It would make sense for him to. Because he's a Steel type. It doesn't make sense for him to learn Fire Punch. He's withdrawing Fire Punch. He doesn't get Fire Punch. But he gets Blaze Kick. Never mind. Okay, so I, I actually kind of like predicted the, the predicted Sunny to come out right here. Let me fake you. Yo, that's some nice damage. I'll take it. Uh, and I want to be. I don't want this, you know, this to cut this damage to continue. So I'm gonna knock you off now, so I can get rid of your hold item. I don't want. I kind of feel like he might predict me to go into Roserade here and uh, try an earthquake. So I am gonna stay in. Um, and if he does, I mean, if I get if I get Roserade out now in this position, knock you off real quick and get rid of that item. Nice. And. Now it's gonna okay. He's gonna scold me. I could have switched out right there. I should take that. Don't burn me. Fuck. Um. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just gonna do as uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna do as much damage as possible here. He could go for the recover. Actually, he's probably gonna go for recover. Recover would be smart. But at the same time, it wouldn't be because I could switch into Roserade here and then I have Roserade out. 
Hmm, no. I mean, at least the Rocky Hallett's gone. You know, the potential for a late game sweep with Scizor is, 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 is still possible. I just need to switch him out at the right time, and I need to just go in. Bullet punch, bullet punch, bullet punch, bullet punch. I need to see how much a bullet punch will do to the... The Rotom Heat. A plus two. Rotom. Pull it punch. Let's have a look, see. It's not gonna kill. It's not gonna kill. Plus four sword stance will sweep the rest of his team. Actually, he went for Scald. He actually went for Scald. Now, in this position... In this position... I can bring out Bud, I can kill this thing, cool. Switches out into what? If he switches out into Rotom Heat, Giga Drain's not gonna finish it off. It won't be enough. End of. Leaf Storm will. If he brings out the Lucario, Leaf Storm may potentially kill. And um, if he brings in the Gardevoir, Leaf Storm does 70%. So I kind of want to go into Bud and Leaf Storm and see where it takes me. At the same time, I have the opportunity to go and Sizzle right here. Maggie, no, I'm going to go. It's going to Bud. It's going to Bud. Let's see what we can hit. Let's see how hard we can hit it. Let's do it. Just smell your own flowers, Rosary. Just, it's not right. Shouldn't do that. It's politically incorrect. It's not politically incorrect. Shut up. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can hit something super hard with this leaf storm. Pow, pow, pow. Just don't miss. Oh my god, the worst luck. I have the worst luck. Please don't miss, Rosary. I need you to keep your eyes straight, stay on target and just hit something hard. Go into Rotom Heat, Nappy. Go into Rotom Heat. If he goes into Rotom Heat and we kill that thing, I can I can win with Scizor. I can potentially win with Scizor, because Cindy is at this HP right now, and I can go ahead and Knock it off and that'll kill. No, I can't knock it off. I can't. I have to U-turn. He withdraws and he goes into Rotom Heat, right? Bluno. Okay. I don't actually. I don't know if I can kill. Damn, son. Damn. Can Mega Scizor. That hurts. Um, a bullet punch kills. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, uh, let's go. Let's do this. Let's switch into him. Let's do this. Let's go. If we go into Scizor, and I can Mega Evolve, and I can Bullet Punch things, that's gonna be fun. A good play for Nappy, though, would be to go into 30 minutes right here. Rotom, I need to get rid of this Rotom Heat, man. I need to get rid of this Rotom Heat. 
Bullet Punch doesn't do enough, dude. Hey, yo, what's good, though? Ice. Oh, he's running Ice Punch! Yummy! Alright, cool. So let's go ahead and Mega Evolve right here. Critical hit. At Any chance we had of winning just went out the window, right there. That is a real shame. It really is. Unless we can thaw out first turn, and I think there's- what's the- what's the chances? I don't know. Twenty percent chance. That's two twenty percent chances we had. Close combat will kill me now. That's a shame. We may have had a chance to come back there. Sizzle basically was was able to not bullet punch this thing, um, and then we could have maybe got somewhere. But unfortunately, what can you do against hacks? Two freezes in one match. Nothing I can do. There it is. You know, it's, it's, it, I don't mind losing at all, by the way. No problem with losing, but the fact that I, that just, I ruined the whole match. <sighs> it was, that was a really good match as well. I, I honestly thought if, with, if I made the right plays, I could have probably won that. But... Apparently fate was against me today. Can I get some hashtag no luck, no luck Luke in the comment section below if you guys have enjoyed this battle? Let me know down below by clicking that like button and don't forget to check out Nappy's perspective in the description below But with that being said, I'm gonna get out of here um, Yeah